Treat the uh, four cheats as kind of a cheat board, kind of the way we've, we've always tried to do our commissioner stuff. So, all hiring, firing, promotions to demotions can be done by a majority rule uh, based upon the associates. Vision seems to be the number one complaint. Things I saw brought up today in the Leo chat was people talking about how much time they put in. It, it's more than just time, but time matters. Communication has always time. mattered. The time matters. Deli Bear was good with it. But look, you can't be qualified just on time alone. Now, you just can't be qualified on, on time alone. Right? Time, that, that's, time, yeah. hey, time, time definitely matters. Hey, shit. That shit. That shit matters. And I seen it from another side this weekend. That shit matters. It's just like if you work at a job, right? Let's just say money. Let's just say I work at General Motors. I'm yep. putting all this motherfucking time. You know what I'm saying? And shit. I'm just putting in all this time. Deadly with the shares. That shit will make me feel a certain type of way. I don't know what it'll make you feel. Uh, it, it absolutely would. It absolutely would. But, like... Like I pointed out today, man, I spent six months, damn near six months as a sergeant. I never really thought about it for six months until I wasn't a sergeant anymore. So, like, I'm not sure what everybody's focus is or what everybody's reason and purpose for being here is. The time that you put in matters, but the quality of time matters more. Because we understand not everybody has the same amount of time to commit. How do you guys have, you know, wives and children, full-time jobs outside of here, going to school? Some of you are doing all of that at the same time, and yet you still come in here because you love it enough that you want to put time into it. And so we're trying to facilitate an environment in which you feel like your time matters, as does your input. So that's why we're going to one singular department. Because... As a unit, we, we're going to be forced to come together. Motherfucker, to what? You ugly no as jersey, hell. No hat, no delivery, no car. We'll make it yeah, well. Say, well we one, yeah. I own that shit. That's all that matters. <laughs>
What you know what I'm saying? At least I ain't wearing no goddamn Meriwether fucking security hat. <laughs> they ain't top flight security of the world. I do. I have a question. Oh my, I've been wearing this hat since Georgia. What I don't get is I, when I was in there and I saw a lot of things, people were getting mad about people getting fast tracked. Why does it. Go in the middle so everybody can read too. I want to make sure everybody be able to read. When I was looking at the Elio chat, I noticed a lot of people complaining about their rank. What I don't get is why rank matters. You're all doing the same job. The only difference is sergeants may have more on their plate. Commissioners have a lot more on their plate, and so on and so on. You're all doing the same job. You may get a fancier car. You may get to have access to more emails. Why does it matter, though? You're all doing the same thing. But then at the end of the day, you're complaining because you don't get promoted. Chasing that clout. So what? You get a little more money. Like, it matters. You're doing the same job. There should be no complaining over a rank. Be happy you're being able to be out in the field. Some of you see are stuck there in the prison all day long. Well, you guys get to go out there, shoot people, arrest people, have fun. It shouldn't matter whether you're an officer, a deputy. <laughs> you should, it, it doesn't matter if you're a deputy, a sergeant, a lieutenant, an officer, a commissioner, a chief. Uh, under sheriff or captain y'all doing the same job there shouldn't be a whole bunch of saying well oh i want an extra 150 more dollars that i get every now and then that, that shouldn't matter and i what i don't get is why everyone's saying well oh i want to be a sergeant well oh i want to be a captain congrats i want to be a commissioner but you know it's not going to happen it may never happen but it shouldn't well, be a whole we, big we thing. We actually talked about that. We actually had a conversation about that. You know, a lot, a, a lot of people look at it as the ceiling is already determined, <laughs> and my growth is never going to be what I want it to be. Here's the thing, y'all. If you weren't, if you weren't complaining in Discordia about not being this or not being that, and you were just out doing it, if you weren't just stuck thinking about it, and you were actually doing it, we would be forced to see the work and be like, damn, we ain't got no choice but to bring them up level or the chief level or and, 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 and that, that was a common thing between Townsend and I like we, we had that conversation we understand but the chain of command is very specified it's like we didn't create the chain of command we didn't create the role as PD or military that shit's already in place and IRL man you might work 30 years to make your tenure you might not make it at all Why is it that the youngest one in the room made the best points? solution. 
Shit, my bad. That will create a problem. So what you're going to have is the same, you're going to have the same uh, call sign scenario. Um, I don't know if we change LSPD from force to now, or how we do that, but it'll still be denoted with the secondary being indicative of a rank. So you're going to have a, a, a one zero, a one one, a one two, a one three. Uh, and it'll be the same thing happening. And four two eight. Uh, 438 is, is no less important than 432. The last number just indicates that there are multiple people in that All right, so if you're somebody that's holding a, you know, say you're a 430 now, and you wind up with 1633, that's what it is. Isn't that 430 to 433 still means you're still a captain, just in a different department? It just means well, there's one department. There's yeah, it's all, it's, all, it's all gonna be one. Oh, I think so I missed that mean, part. I, I missed. Yeah, we missed that. Okay, yeah. So we all going to one department. It's not. All it's right. not gonna be like eight. Say we are. We all one department. And then as uh, Townsend said, she had you be able to fall under the same department. So you're gonna fall side. GIU stuff when you're out doing GTA and GIU stuff as a department, we expect you guys are out doing GIU, out doing GTA stuff that you are you know, fighting with GIU and GTA. Um, that was another area of contention. We got a lot of officers who want to spend time with GTA. Um, and they, some, some people were under the impression that you know, we, we weren't allowing that. I know one department kind of made that. So with that, like if you're a DA unit and you guys are not doing DA stuff, man, we, you know, we appreciate that work, but you guys are going to bring in uh, uniformed officers to vote with y'all. We, we really kind of want the focus to come off of the DA stuff. Nah, they should, they should, because they got, they got enough, they got enough over there to do that. Well, I understand that's what I'm saying. So if they, but if they are riding with the uniformed officers, then, you know, just, just come out of the DA uniform. What you mean? So like before, DEA would be out doing DEA stuff, we'd have a uniformed officer riding with them, huh. right? And DEA operates a little differently than uniformed officers do. How was that? So so this is my business. The DEA doing DEA work, nine times out of ten, it's going to be four, five of them, six of them together. So they, they they don't think. There should be no reason why a uniformed officer should be riding with them. No, that's when they not, yeah, 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 not yeah. When they not doing DEA work, they should be in uniform. To be, they should be in uniform. So yeah. therefore, it, it ain't no discrepancies in behind it. You know Absolutely. Yeah, and I was just trying to clarify the fact that uh, uniformed officers who, who want to ride with, you know, their friends, their brothers, the DEA, yeah, they, we can yeah. do that when they're in uniform, when they're in, in a LSPD unit. Right. Is there a plan y'all care to elaborate on on the topic of favoritism and it being stopped? Uh, yeah. Uh, you tell me what favoritism is to you, and I'll tell you what it is to me. You want like a definition, yeah, you textbook can, definition? You, or? Can, you can give me whatever you feel that's on your heart. He, he, yeah, he's asking you like, like, like what you think of the favoritism and, and can you use some stuff that you think is favoritism to explain from your perspective. Put that into words so we can understand what favoritism is. Pretty much the uh, buddy buddy system. Uh, certain people being disciplined for actions and others not. Certain people being fast tracked because of who they are to the person above them. Just stuff like that. Right. So you, you, you fast tracked. Elaborate on that. 
fast track people that join the police force and then a month later they move up a rank and then maybe two weeks later they in high command just stuff that we've all seen before nothing specific disciplinary actions, correct? Step on up. Yeah, he yelled, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to shout. I'm in the middle of the room. So yeah. You don't shout. Mm -hmm. Go. Right, move, up. Move, move up to the center of the room. Drop your beer bottle. Out my way. <laughs> Rick's right here. Tired of it over two weeks? You feel like you feel like you feel like you can, can go to him and thing is if I'm your if I'm your partner, I'm your backbone. If we make a decision together, we're supposed to move on it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so you can't work with somebody that's not gonna agree with the decision and then when it's time to make the decision, I'm going under the bus. And that's what I felt like it was gonna be. So I just so that ain't had nothing to do with nobody as far as like you know you or anybody else it just it was him that pissed me off uh, I'm so mad I'm trying to see where you stand 
I'm taking my ball and going and home. Quit. And then I come in and you in. That's why I'm trying to see where you at. Hey, Trevor, what's good with it? I appreciate that like. I mean, to be honest with you, it was a hard decision. I mean, I thought about it all day. How we living today? Because I've been here for a year. Love it. Happy birthday. Right, so, uh, <laughs> oh, happy birthday. Thank all right, so, all right, you go back there. Uh, all right, so it's like this. If y'all don't want to be here, then we not, we ain't forcing y'all to be here. All right? Y'all feel like, you know what I'm saying, y'all can't. Y'all that's can't good, that's good. What's going on, this, that, and the third. Then it's cool, it ain't no hard feeling. We ain't doing no tripping. One thing that I seen, man, that, that's gonna stop me is title. Y'all feel like y'all y'all entitled to some things, right? Or y'all might feel like, damn, I'm supposed to be in this position over here. Shit don't go y'all way. Oh shit, man, I'm thinking about giving it up. I'm thinking about quit. Whatever the case may be. And hey, look here, if you gonna quit, man, gonna quit, man. It ain't no hard feeling. Shit, everything ain't for everybody. It just ain't. Shit, we hate to see you go. You know what I'm saying? We're sorry it didn't work out, but shit, man. It is what it is, man. We're trying to build. These people, you may lose some cops, but there's some more cops coming in. I promise you that. That's me. More cops coming in. To answer y'all the questions uh, with the whole fast track, I may fast track some people in here got Elio experience. That's the only fast track that I do. If I got a cop that got three, four years Elio experience, we shorthanded like what we was two, three weeks ago, and I'm gonna fast track. I'm gonna fast track. That's how happy y'all that's how happy y'all in here today. That was a, a seriously unique situation. It was. But it was needed. It was needed. And we've gotten some really great leadership people from that group. And we've also gotten some uh, diversity uh, in the positive from that group. And, 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 and look, man, I understand being in a position and feeling like you've done what you feel is necessary to be considered for elevation. And then somebody comes in, you know, out of nowhere. Um, and you don't know anything about them. That's where that's where trust and leadership comes from. Like you have to like somebody to trust that the leadership decisions that they're making is not to hinder you, but to help you. I, I don't know anybody uh, in the leadership that intentionally does things to, to, to hinder anybody's ability to grow. Um, and and the decisions like that. That fast track comment. There's only like three, four people in here that have that ability. And those are people that should automatically have your trust. You may not always agree with decisions that they make, but you've got to know if they're doing something that just wow, why would you do that? There's a, there's a greater reason behind it. That being said, anybody else, uh, anybody else got anything else they want to talk about? Anything we need to discuss? Me, me, mm. I have something. Hold up. Hey, hey, guys, I was just uh, here to let you all know, uh, um, you know, I, I'm gonna, you know, be here a little bit more often and uh. If you all can do me a huge favor and just make sure y'all all download that, put it down. It, it's everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no fucking way. Um, I do have something to say to you. All right, go ahead. You know what I Uh, I just had a question for you. All right, go ahead. Not really a question, more of a statement. All right, go ahead. I appreciate everybody here for uh, welcoming me and stuff like that. And uh, I will be around uh, more often than less. I know DLCs are kind of considered the bottom of the barrel, but um, I'm here to take my job seriously. 
And uh, don't be afraid to reach out to me if anybody needs uh, help with something or I can do anything to make my uh, my space here valuable. That's all for me. What's your name, bro? Uh, just go blaze. Are you the one that want to be DLC finally? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. No, 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 no. He said, uh, no. He's like, nah, nah, nah. That sounds scary. Hold on, is that Brayden Smith Jr.? So I love that, man, but that, yeah, that's that shit right there gets me yeah. hit. I ain't, I ain't lying, that shit gets me hit. That shit has to change. Uh, I got a question. I was in here early, earlier. Um, clarification on the uniform. I'm out doing GIU shit. I have a uniform for GIU? Uh, so, EEA and GIU, whenever y'all out doing our stuff, you gotta be in plain clothes. I mean, whatever it is that y'all need to do to get the job. I don't care. Okay. okay. Right? And then once I'm done, I just switch over to right. fake you clothes? Your, you, put your, you put your LSPD uniform. No, no, yeah, yeah. Everybody's oh, gonna be going to the LSPD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody, everybody will be in LSPD. I don't know. Everybody's going on the one roster. I'm wearing a thong. Undercover thong. Ain't no way about that. What is it? It's an undercover uh, thong. I don't know. That's it. Just say it. It's a possibility. Once we get into the logistics and stuff. So, like, come in the room as though you're interviewing for the position that you already have. Okay? A lot of y'all gonna be mad. Shit. There's a lot of people that's gonna be, you know what? Shit. This is the shit that we needed right here. Okay? This is what we need. So, be open minded to it. Oh, you know what? Hold on. It was it was another it. thing. It was another thing that I read in Discord. Somebody put uh, EOC in the deck. So those are two totally different things. It's two totally different things. EOC is where you start out at. The cadet phase is transition from EOC to becoming a police officer. So I just wanted to clarify that, y'all. I didn't want, right. you know, what I'm saying I didn't want to, I didn't want to reply in the thing. I wanted everybody to get their opinions out without, you know, what I'm saying without no backlash. Right, and also values. Does that mean that uh, from DOC to cadet that they are actively attending the cadet class or so not cadet, actively attending? So this is this is how we do it. So the cadet class is uh, is basically getting you ready. It's basically going over everything that the FTO would go over with uh, while you're sitting in the car. You're doing it in a classroom, and then you come out, and then you get hands-on. Not everybody learns the same way, man. We all, there are three real basic fundamentals to how people learn. Some people learn better by hearing something. Some people learn better by seeing something, and other people learn better by being hands-on. There are a few unique people that, that learn by a combination of, of some of those or all of those. The cadet program, as I stated in this it, it, I said twofold. It's really more than twofold. But it's a way for some of that disinformation. Because we saw, I saw a lot of people saying, well, you know, the way that information's coming down from the top, it gets confusing. We get misinformation. The uh, FTO program is designed to keep officers going back through helping with the training of new officers. Uh, so it acts as a re-educational perspective. And, and, and Captain and anybody that's overseeing the academy stuff will be continually incorporating new informations or changes in SOP, right? A lot of things are changes that have been made in meetings, uh, but were never trickled down as the way they should have been from uh, Captain and below. Captains are supposed to go to lieutenants, lieutenants down to sergeants, sergeants to officers, and there needs to be a level of seriousness um, and, 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 oh, and cool. care put in the handling of information. So that FTO program should eliminate a lot of that. It also fosters an environment where somebody new comes in and is going to be working alongside officers, sergeants, assistant chiefs, chiefs, depending upon who was a part of the FTO uh, class 
that, you know, that session, and it'll help remove some of those nerves, uh, and will help also foster the environment of we're equal, um, and that was already implemented. I do think as a high command, uh, with low command, we do need to get to a something that we must get done soon is figure a time that works for everybody. Uh, and the high command meetings need to incorporate low command members so that that information is, is carried down in a, in a proper manner. That, that's much appreciated. I just wanted to clarify because uh, my confusion lied to where, like if you're in DOC, what is like the traditional transitioning period to like going out with officers and learning something before you get to cadet training or like the academy? High Command has had discussion about what should qualify somebody as being job ready. There's a difference between being job ready and being ready. Um, and so job ready is what matters. And for some people, it's less time than others. Uh, I've always stated I don't specifically want to have a, a, a clear time frame because then people are just going to think, well, if I put in, if we say it takes a minimum of 12 hours for DOC to be ready, and then, then DOC is told, hey, you've got to put in 12 hours, then, then they're just putting in hours. Um, and that doesn't qualify. Oh, that's understood. And thank you for answering that question, Commissioner. Appreciate it. Uh, anybody else? More questions? Did y'all say a new roster was getting made? Do I need yeah. to take the old one off the link code? Uh, leave it up there for right now. That way we can see uh, what positions it fits. And that way we can pretty much try to lateral it best that we can. Uh, some people are not going to be in the same position that they question you said there's a uh, uh, I, need to, I, need to, I need to see who but who's in what position all right uh i guess so we're gonna have one main roster so yeah, it will require yeah. it's when they do that or when y'all do that um just in case things get reverted and we do split back to other departments can y'all just not wipe that clean the old roster I said, like, don't delete it because those who have editor access don't go delete the whole thing. Oh, yeah, okay. there's no, yeah, there's no reason to delete the uh, okay. old file. Just archive, you can, you archive can, it so we can't see it. You can hide right. it. Yeah, hide, hide it so we can't right. see it. But right, for the most that. part, this is going to be one roster. Yeah, you whatever you name it, PD roster, LSPD roster, however you want to name it, it's fine. Um, and then we'll clearly get with you as far as we, how many number of slots we want for each uh, each position. But obviously, uh, four department heads is going to be there, and the four assistants will be there. So, uh, I think for today, with our meetings, we can probably handle that individually, right? And then we can use those individual rosters to then fill the main roster off of them. Yep. Yeah. Well, we're going to need, uh, yeah, we're going to need. Uh, hey, who is it? Trigger, that's your shit, right? Yeah, all of it belongs. Yeah, all of it belongs to me. Hey, alright, so, uh, need to make a new roster. Uh, make a new roster. Question on a comment you said earlier. You said there's two new DOC for officers, well, for sergeants and stuff. That was no, 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 whoa, no, 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 way, this man, this man just said it don't matter what rank you are, and his next question is how do I become a sergeant? Yeah. No, what we're saying. We still living off that last speech you just gave, bitch. No, but what is, what is the point of that? Like, is there a point of what? We are, we're going to evaluate all of the leadership from assistants down to officers. That's right. And, and that way we, we have. One on one, because I'll be honest with you, we got people in the department in positions. I don't even know who the hell they are. Hmm. And some of it is is schedule. Some of it is some. Look, man, let, let's admit it, man. Like it was it was stated. Like it's obvious. We know when people fly out when we fly in, and and we have an idea of why that is. Uh, but from a just a real world uh, perspective of validity, hmm. so we don't really meddle in the departments. We're gonna meddle a little bit today. We're gonna meddle a little bit today, so you gotta come in, um, and and like I said, like you're interviewing for the job that you already have, and we'll decide whether or not you, you 
qualify. Um, and then from that point on, it's going to be up to it's going to be up to PD to, to, to run it like we've been trying to let you guys run it, except for it won't be up to one person in the department. Yeah, it's going to be up to the four. Other than that, anybody else got any more questions? Anything? Uh, go ahead, Yossi. I see you flapping your hands over here. Go ahead and step over here in the middle. So everybody she got, she got Dash over here smoking. Chicken. She don't smoke that much. Make sure you don't shout for me. You all hear me? Yeah, we can. Yes, shout. Yeah, I am. <clears throat> so I would like to stay in DOC forever. I don't. Hey, that's you the guy I'm looking for. Yeah, I don't want to. Right. These, these treats are too tough for me. Okay. Yeah, you, you the guy I'm looking for. Oh, man. I'll be honest with you, like, yeah, at least uh, this is a question that's got to be asked. True. This is a question that's got to be asked, man. Is Lifers coming back? And if so, are you a part of Lifers? Because, I mean, a uh, full-time only oh. DLC and a cousin that's mm -hmm. always in the prison is a huge conflict of interest. No, no, my, my cousin's not going to be in the prison anymore. Okay. Okay. I had to come to Jesus talk last night. Hey, <laughs> listen. All right, all right. my cousin is an upstanding, upstanding hold on, hold on, hold on. citizen. Any, any, any more? Yeah, I'm doing all right, Bobby. How you doing? Any more questions? Any more topics? Anything? Anybody got to get off their chest? Anything? I wanna, I wanna cover reports. All right, go ahead and step up in the middle and go on your shop, boys. Uh, oh, coming, come and see him from department heads. On the, you can go on the reports right now and see him from a department head. There is no evidence photos of stuff that he stated in the uh, report that is collected. Uh, the report is not written right. It doesn't have the who, what, why, when, and where. It just, that stuff needs to be addressed from the from as top as you can go all the way down to officers. You can't tell an officer to do a report a certain way and then that person does not do it. All right, so how are you in the way from paperwork? I think a lot of that is influenced on, on a scene-by-scene -scene basis when somebody clearly is saying they're going guilty of going to prison. People are then pushing to get reports done more rapidly. That's about the only time I don't ever include photos personally, but the actual body of the report should still take some time. Um, the who, what, when, where, and why, like the, the, the who and the, and the when uh, is usually covered in title. Uh, but anything that is included as a charge needs to be fully explained in the body of the report. DOJ is not where it was just a few weeks ago, but we are going to be getting back to that. So departmental-wide, man, just make sure that you're able to explicitly describe and explain what had occurred uh, in a manner that any charges are covered in your report. And then the inclusion of evidence and all of that stuff, it should just be second nature. I know a lot of people are not using um, SNP tools or whatever. I use ShareX because it was recommended. Uh, it's in the PD Discordia. And, 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 and I got to be honest, it works flawlessly. It uses little resources. And it makes finding your links exceptionally easy. So unless you're really uh, committed to a specific program, I would recommend using that. Everybody has to have the ability to do that. On scene evidence, our phones are working again. I take out my phone on the scene to get pictures of the evidence on scene. The link is easy to find as well there. And it's, it's, it's evidence on scene, evidence on the suspect, evidence in your pocket, and then the final picture of it being put in the evidence drawer that is numbered the same as your report. So all of your reports should include four pieces of evidence or some sort of explanation as to why the evidence pictures were left out. Does that cover your concern, sir? Yes, sir, thank you. Um, what's, your, what's your rank? Captain. Captain. Singh has been working uh, on following up on reports for a long time. I command mandated lieutenants should be a part of their, their job duties. Can I, uh, can I task you with working directly with the lieutenants once they're renamed again um, and, and helping them understand how we want to see the reports and then following up with them to make sure lieutenants are doing it? Thank you, sir. Hey, one more thing I need to touch on before we get out of here. 
Hey, as cops, let these criminals, let they RP play out. A lot of times, man, this PD, y'all stepping on this shit to where they can't even get out. What they trying to even get out, and it's making them frustrated to where they don't even want to do shit. Only thing they want to do is go down to the goddamn trap. Shoot, that's it. That's it. That's what I'm here for is RP, to be honest. Is anybody unfamiliar with uh, what we did this, was it last week? Was that Monday? Book? Was that when the last meeting was a week ago today? You may not be able to hear me back there. Whenever the last community meeting was had, we we pulled away the need for hostages to be allowed the opportunity to have demands. If they're not being violent or uh, obviously just trying to provoke you guys into violence, run with it, even if they don't have a hostage. And secondly... I can't hear him. No, he's not. Secondly, on the taser stuff, man, if you outnumber somebody like two or three to one on a foot chase, you shouldn't be instant tasing. Give them a chance to run a little bit. The only time that that should be okay is like if, if it's a one-on-one -on -one situation, right? Like you're the only one chasing a suspect, then then pulling the taser on them is, is going to be acceptable or allowed. Give them, give them a, a reasonable amount of time. Like some of the most fun I've had in the last week has been off of the back end of a robbery that had no hostage that then turned into a foot chase that we didn't just tase him up to get him in trouble. Sing no, I ain't tasing nobody. I got my hey, own I see something I got mine. on that topic. The only problem with that is, and I had experience with oh this, God. is that there were he criminals catch that. who Cole Lewis. didn't bring a hostage <laughs> and were doing it back to back every time the robbery was available. And they were doing the same getaway or a different getaway that they knew cops couldn't do just to get the stuff but then they expected the same thing to happen once they came back to the store or the jewelry store or the bank and did the same thing and didn't bring a hostage PD is not to be predictable you don't always have to if you notice it's oh, damn down of that where you have the same people <laughs> not getting hostages numbers are good in the city and there's no reason they couldn't get a hostage you Still, you can still as a as a, as a unit decide to breach. But and that's that's what I wanted to clarify. We don't want it to always be no hostage. We're going in every time. Yeah, no. Jackson and, I, and myself have never wanted PD to be predictable. So you have to you have to adjust. If they're if they're burning us one way, like we have to adapt the way we respond to it. And I like that. And I like that PD. They don't always have to have it hostage. Because you know it, it creates for more pasta, but then you'll have the people who just blatantly wear no mask and stuff to get a warrant out and just to abuse that. But I still I wanted to clarify that we're still yeah. able to reach as is, a is unit. That Kaza? Is, that you, is that Kaza back there trying to get her? No, this is I don't Fisher. Know. I can't, I can't no, I know who that is. No, the the ranger that was buying there with the gray. Was, is that yeah, that's that's Kaza over there. Uh, yeah, Kaza, step up in the middle. You got something. No, no, I ain't, I don't want to say nothing. Oh, yeah, you, you kept raising your hand. Oh, that was, uh, Cross. Oh. No, Cross. Sorry? Oh. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to kind of piggyback onto what, uh, 102 was just saying about the, the foot chase and tase. It's acceptable. I think we kind of agreed the other, I believe last week, we had agreed that if they're, if they're on foot, obviously we give them the chase. But if they try to do anything that would give them that advantage, like hopping in a car, hopping on a bike, trying to do something to get as far away from you as possible, as quickly as possible, then I believe, like, I believe we're able to tase them. Absolutely. Um, I also, me personally, I don't cuff them Can after the first tase. Right? I give them a chance to get up and surrender themselves. And then if they take off running again, then I chase them again for a few minutes. And then, you know, after that, you know, I'll, I'll take them into custody. But. PD work inherently has always been reactive. There are some situations where what we are facing is obvious and we have a standard order of procedure in how to approach the field. But most of the day-to-day -day work that we do hinges upon what they do. And I think that so many officers are losing sight of that. Like, it, it, as much as we want to maintain control in situations, we are a reactive force. And if we just remember that that, that simple thing, it makes the RP easier. 
and it, and it helps foster the art people. So. I'd definitely say that we, we definitely need them. So, you know, I want to keep them in, you know, keep them moving. Hey, look, when, it, when PD gets to a place where it's obvious that we are allowing people to yeah, be no, surprised, who in the city is willing to go rob some stuff just to get a little bit of interaction? Which is people that normally don't want to even do the criminal stuff will come out just to give you something to do because yeah. they appreciate the way go you interact with them or the last you shared or something like that. Right? So, uh, if there's nothing else in the room, Townsend doesn't have anything, if Luke doesn't have anything, then we're going to have uh, all officers uniform. Uh, get with somebody LSPD to get the numbers to know what to change. Um, Saturday, casual Saturdays, if you are in uniform, like vests are a no-go. Variants and the leeway on hats is, is a no-go. The ball cap that these gentlemen are wearing, is, that's the only headgear that's okay. We want uniformity in the uniforms. So I can't wear my hat? Technically, by it, no. Hell no. Oh, casual Saturday is Style removed then. Me to wear this hat. The cowboy hat? Yes, sir. Oh, I, I, not... I'm wearing this hat as long as y'all know. Mm. Now, now, listen, big country. Black we don't want no favoritism. I, I, we don't... I'm talking to the commission. Anybody else see him jump into the table mm -hmm. and show up three feet later? Alright, it's just my shit. That's definitely a nice hat. It's like a 10 inch beam, maybe even a 40 inch beam. Uh, it's 40. But it, uh, it definitely doesn't meet mm. the, the current. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say no on the head. I'm gonna say no on the head. So, question on Casual Saturdays. You said we're not allowed to wear the police vest. No you, no, you can wear, like, casual Saturdays is that. Mm -hmm. Like, the vest is okay on Saturdays. And be, look, man, it's like casual Fridays in an office, man. Yeah, be I know. Intelligent what you're in your choices. Yeah. You know, you guys want to wear your Don't wear booty hat. shorts. Yeah, no booty shorts. Booty shorts, bullshit. Nah. That ain't it. Y'all ain't even finna make a, a, a buffoonery, a PD like that. It also it cuts down on targeting as well too, right? But all they'll see is is the white, and they won't always know who's coming at. I mean, uh, as we get this one department together, if our department heads come together and they decide they want to do something different with the dress codes and stuff, man, by all means, get your stuff in line and, and, and push it up, and we'll put it on the table for consideration because. At the end of the day, if that's what it makes, you know, takes to make you guys continue to want to do your work, then there's no reason for us to deny it. But as of right now, the uniform is as it is. Let's respect it on every day that's not uh, Saturday. Saturday. Can PD switch back to the black uniform then if we're all being PD? We'll discuss it. Yeah, we'll see. Right now, it's the white shirt. Uh, yeah, alright, fellas. Well, in may I be dismissed? I've got to fly out. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. Right, yeah, thank you. Go, all right, y'all take it easy. All right, all right, Christian. I will be six in the head. All right, go ahead. And other than that, uh, other than that, man, shit, man, y'all free to go. Y'all free to go on duty. Uh, if y'all not doing DEA work, which it look like y'all are, shit, y'all get done with DEA, shit, jump in uniform. That's all I got. Go you. Right. Hey, before I go, I have one more question. I may have missed this. Uh, you said everybody switching to one department? Uh, yes. The DOC, y'all still y'all department. I mean, as, like, uh, you mean like share, sheriffs and stuff like that? Yes, sir. Sheriffs, all of it is one department right now. Oh, switching to white uniform. Okay. Yeah. Everything is one okay. department right now. You good with the uniform you got on? That's DOC. Oh, I, I know. I was just saying, just, you know, for future reference. Later on down the line, if, once we get everything lined up, like how it needs to be lined up, then yes, we can go back to uh, Troopers. We'll branch out slowly. It won't be this 
everybody back to to that one thing, but we're just trying to get everybody under one umbrella at this point. Awesome. Okay, thank you. Yeah, y'all good. Y'all good. good to go. Uh, good. Me and I like Michael, it here. Me and Yo, what's Michael, good, Michael? We'll be going to interviews uh, in the office here shortly. Ah. That's everybody but me, right? Right. Okay. Man, it's been a hot minute since I put on this LSPD uniform. <laughs> <laughs> I never was never LSPD. I've always been the sheriff's. <laughs> Oh my, I don't even know the other speed. Shit, I'll get it. Oh, I can't go on this side. Oh, but I, can go right I ain't got no goddamn money. <laughs> That's crazy. What's good, about this? Hey, hey, what's going on? Shit, we chilling, we chilling. How you been? How you living? Living life lavish. Living life Hell lavish. yeah, that's what's up. And now, y'all be easy. Let me use Extra key, right? I gotta wait. There's too many people in there. Uh, it's slowing you ugly. Extra three. And you always wait. gonna be ugly. Wait, jacket was what? 304. Body armor, 25. What's the texture? Oh, texture four, two. two. 304 is jacket. Now, how about that short two. sleeve? Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, short sleeves, I'm pretty sure it's for sergeants. Okay, so how about assistance? Yep, yeah. <laughs> I don't know number. Uh, Larry, you're not in the right one. It's uh -oh. really th jacket 304, texture Damn. two. Uh, I keep going. <laughs> Body armor 25. Got it. 61. Got it. Scarf and chains, one. Yeah, I can't see shit. Got it. 137. Got it. Legs, uh, one, oh, sorry. Hats and parachute, 74. Got it. Legs, 104. Got, Got it. 3. Got it. Hands, 14. Got it. That's it. What about my hat? I'm still wearing my name, Will. The shoes were 178, right? Oh, we don't have a hat for PD. Yes, you do. We got, you definitely got a hat. Yeah, we got the regular cap hat. I don't know it. So. Yeah. Oh, no, I can't wear that. My braids going to come out. No, you don't have a trooper hat like that. No, you I don't have a trooper hat, but you got a hat. Yeah, we got we got that hat. All right. Uh, Wait, go back, go back. Whoever we're giving the numbers. This shit right here? Base here. Mm, go back, go back. Wait, yes, Batista, why are you giving out numbers, bro? Yeah, Batista, what the fuck? Ah, shit, my elbow. Damn. I All right, hold on. Can't this hat ain't that bad. Yeah, they have to My hair looks nice and fresh. I don't have to wear it. Yeah, fuck the numbers, man. I'm gonna just find it myself. Alright, ready? Hey, sing. Oh, I ain't got sing. no money. Oh. Could have your jacket. It's 301. Jacket 301. Come on. Oh, hold on. Let me see this. Type it in. Shit. It's yeah. so much easier. <laughs> Action. Lovely. What's up, brother? Ready for the uniform? Hell yeah, I'm born ready, baby. Hell if I know. Alright. Sure, what's the pants? Hold on, I can't see myself. Hold up, pause. Pause. Somebody move the ass. I can barely hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. Hold on, give me two seconds. I still can't see anything. Alright, I'm good. Okay, okay, okay. Jacket 304, texture 2. I don't have that radio over my shoulder. 
It's gonna be body armor 25. I ain't got no money. Oh, I got you. you want Bunch of broke There's asses. You know, four you know, one thirty-five. Bam. Um, Shit, I, I don't remember the last thing I did was fucking probably a trap. Good. That's all you have to get. I shit two o two. Um, when you said your it's one thirty-five. Say what? There's sixty-one. That's what that is. Hey, how do I look? Is that good? What sixty-one? Still dead sexy. Shit, sure. it's sixty-one. Arms optional, legs 404, 4, shift 4. This looks like shit. Use 137 <clears throat> and 1. Welcome to LSPD, yeah, baby. <laughs> Apparently. We don't want you. I don't want it, I look better in the blue. 3701. It just says carry, but it's actually stay off. 74. That's yeah, what was the pants? Uh, pants Watch out, who's in front of me? Four. What's up, bro? What's up, bro? Hey, what shirt was that again? 301. Shirt? Don't go to 301. Uh, jacket, sorry. But what shirt? I gotta get the shirt back right. 13. I think. 304 is the long sleeve, 301 is the short sleeve. What the fuck? Extra toe. Oh, I can't see my arm. Who the fuck is blocking this goddamn door? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, Bates, there. can you show me what the sleeves are real quick? Goddamn. Hey. Ain't no way he said the white gloves. What's up? What? Can we go to the bathroom down here? I feel like he lied to me. Uh, the bathroom is right here. Look. Oh no, I never took it. No, I never took it. Yeah, I just owned it. You're responding to the trailer park. Show 463 and route the trailer park. Show Cole and route the sh trailer park.
Kill your lights. Kill your lights. Y'all see anything? I got this. No. Oh, 602, Gen 7. 10 4, 6, 0, 2. We got room for three more on the uh, yacht height. They definitely gonna be hiding in the bush somewhere. Mm. Be playing down in the car, huh? No, he switched. To, I mean, did he switch to the driver's seat? I shot the trunk to see if anybody was in the trunk. I was just sitting in the driver's seat the whole time. Yep. That's crazy. All right, man. I'm watching y'all run past. I want to see what happened to him after this. Mm. <laughs> he just tried to clear. What's good with it though, Michael? Y'all able to hear me, right?
You good? You good? That's good. I'm glad to hear it. Man, I'm upset. They dissolved my department. We all merged into LSPD. I'm mad as hell. I'm madder than a motherfucker. You guys good over there at the trap? Yeah, ten four. How y'all looking over at that uh, carrier? Oh! Oh my God! <laughs> y'all still need uh, somebody for the carrier house? Or the yard house? Yeah. How many you need? Great. Show me in route. What high school did y'all need help with? Uh, come up in the alley. Ten four, I'm here to demo for you. You know what? Fuck it. Got something to eat on you? I guess I have numbers for that. Yeah, I just went and bumped that stack, dude. Yeah, four. Yeah, yo, pilot. Hey, hey, it's between me and you. Show your pilot his intercoms. Uh, 478 is the pilot. Oh, you gonna carry all eight of us? Oh, don't matter. He got bumped down. You gonna carry all six of us? No, we do need some extra air. <laughs> no, we need one more. I was like, motherfucker, what? So again, like I said, don't worry. The pilot is here. You a pilot, but I'm the pilot. Oh boy. Hey, what's it take for me to come? For me to get with you to get some air one search? Uh, I don't trust you on the ground, let alone in the air, Sloan. What you talking about, G? I'm great on, I'm great in the air. Motherfucker, what? I'm great in the air. Alright, move this raggedy ass. Preferably, don't set it down on my head, neither. Bradley! What's good with it? How you living, G? Oh. Mm. Alright, come on, Blackstone. You... <laughs> You better put that sniper away. Sniper Just pull out a different gun. Oh, that's how you fix it. That's what I thought. I'm thinking about going three and three in case they try to shoot us down. I'm thinking we're going to go uh, three and two because it don't look like nobody else coming. We got this. Shit. Uh, Blackstone is shooter shooter. I'm leaving if y'all aren't coming. He needs one more person. This is the yacht one house. on the radio channel too? Yeah. The one over on the beach, right? Not the one down by the island? A 10-4. Beach. What fuck you gonna ask me? I just got my job back. <laughs> nah, I was asking on the radio. <laughs> We in 1.2 or just 2? Two? 2. 
radio check. Hey, Charlie. Hey, Charlie. I should have brought my parachute. I can fly down on a bitch. I mean, it, it is an option. I don't see nothing on that boat. Fellas, let's land, get this boat clear. Let's hit them hard, hit them fast. Pause. No, ain't no pause in there. I got no heat on that boat at all. Yeah. Check the water. I think it's the carrier height. Because there was a yacht height that popped up and then it showed and then it showed again as a carrier height. So I think it was the carrier. The weird thing is it says this location. Ain't no way they already did that. Out. Oh, we crashing. <laughs> oh, we crashing. I knew better than to fly over that. I fucking knew better. Hopefully Blackstone lands in the water. Hopefully he lands his ass in the water. Blackstone, you good? Oh, we can't see Blackstone. Oh, that's no good. Yeah. Um, I had a code zero.
All right, cool. <coughs> oh, shit. I'm alive. How the fuck? Y'all still in this channel? Show me back in radio after another code zero. Where's the trap? Behind. 
that trap pull four? Negative. Time for a show to get one around. Hey, I'm trying to find everyone to pull that was there. No. Nah, there was somebody inside of it. Complicious. I need your car. I need your car, ma'am. I need your car. Give me your key. Give me your key. Give me the keys. Give me the keys. Motherfucker. I would love to respond to that right now, but I ain't got no body armor.
61 is going to be 10 6. Or 10 7 for a bit. I'll see you guys all later tonight. Yeah, more. What's up, Bones? What's up? Shit, chilling. The fuck you doing wearing white? Oh, you missed the meeting. Fuck, I was working. What do you expect? You missed the meeting. Everybody wearing white. When you ain't doing oh, yeah. your DEA shit, you wearing white. Seven for a bit. I'll be back later tonight. Y'all be easy. Ten four. All right, y'all. I'm gonna call it on that for a little bit. I'll be back on later. Y'all see me? Let's see who we go into. We'll go it over the bug. Three. I hit the three bands. You say how much did you think? I know these bitches hit. Give me like two couple hundred, man. I ain't even got it. Who broke it? Oh my gosh, all y'all broke. Who gonna be buying my list? Somebody jacked up the bank. Damn, bro, they ain't got no chocolate milk in this bitch. We definitely gotta get something to drink for somewhere else. Yeah, I got some minis for you, gang. Yeah. Ever had a chip play mini? Yeah, don't buy them drinks. Them motherfuckers don't. Uh -huh. You need.